What up, YouTube family? Welcome to From Indicted to Invited. Go on here, hit that like button. <clears throat> Today's topic, man, is called a vow. Before I get into the vow, man, I'm a, I am I want to reference a movie, an old movie, Cast Away. Y'all remember the old movie, Cast Away, with Tom Hanks? For those of you who haven't seen it, I'm going to try to break it down in one minute. Tom Hanks was a, a pilot for FedEx. One night the plane crashes in the ocean by an island. And he ended up on an abandoned island for like four years. Uh, some of the packages from his, from his flight had washed ashore, uh, you know, washed up on the island as well. He used some of that stuff as his survival. Uh, he found some ice skates and stuff. He used that as a knife. He had this soccer ball by Wilson. And... Uh, he was talking to that ball like it was a person. He called it Wilson. You know what I mean? And he had this one package that had like these angel wings on it that he never opened. So after he ended up being abandoned on this island for four years, uh, he was married. Man, they done had his funeral back home and all that. His wife then remarried and everything. Get married to Dennis and all of that. Married to family Dennis or whatever. And, uh, so one day, uh, Tom Hanks' character, he said, he, you know, in the movie, he realized that he's going to die if he don't try to uh, attempt to get off this island. So he put together this makeshift raft and stuff, and he had Wilson, the soccer ball, like, on a stick. Like it was, like, you know, like it was, a, you know, like one of those uh, Viking, uh, you know, ships back in the day where you got your logo on there. And he goes out into the, into the ocean, and a storm come and everything, and he still survives on it. He floating on it, but he lose Wilson. Wilson floating away in the ocean. He like, Wilson, like it was a real person. You know what I'm saying? But he still got a few, his, his, few of his possessions that he took with him, and he got this one package. So this, uh, this Russian ship finds him. And uh, the next scene goes to his wife in the kitchen, get a phone call. She was, you know, she was in a good spirited mood. She answered the phone, hello. And, uh, Next thing you know, she passes out in the kitchen. Somebody called and said, hey, they found your husband. Right. Tom Hayes come, and, and the wife knew her husband uh, meets him at, at the airport in a, in a private room and tell him that it's hard on her right now and, you know, just wait to see her and all of that, blue, blue, blue. And he leaves, and, and Tom Hayes look out the window, and his wife outside getting it by the car with the husband trying to console her like boo-hooing. You know what I mean? So this man had a funeral, lost his wife and all that, right? And toward the end of the movie, him and his wife had to talk. They going on about their lives or whatever. She gave him she gave him his car back that it was his and all of that. And uh, this, this man went to go deliver this package with these angel wings on it four years later. He went to go deliver it. He put a note on there. You know what I mean? I got some photos right here. He put the note on there and said, this package saved my life. And it was one of those areas, like, I guess, Texas or Arizona. It was just all desert or, or just nothing out there. And it, this was like a ranch or whatever. And this, this logo was like the logo of their ranch. And uh, he drove the package off and drive back up. And he had this four-way stop. And he's and he trying to look and see what direction he want to go. And this was very majestic for me, this, this scene where he was like, which direction to go? This which direction to go scene was very, I done watched it a hundred times and it, it get to me every time. So as he's trying to think which way to go, this woman pulls up in the truck. You must be lost, blah, 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 woo, 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 have a short conversation. And she tell him, uh, if he, whatever direction he, he goes in, she tell him where he's headed to what cities and what he gonna pass and all of that. And they have a pleasant conversation and she goes on by the way. As she pulls off down the road that he just came from, he look in the rearview mirror and see that the back of her truck had these angel wings. Right? So that was the lady house that he delivered the package to. He gets out the car or he might have been already outside the car because they was having a conversation maybe outside the car right there. And uh, he walks 
to the center of that intersection. This was very majestic, bro. This was this. If you ain't seen it, this scene was just just a cold scene to me. And he stands on a yellow line. I got the photos up right here. He stands on a yellow line, and he look in every direction on which way he was gonna go. So you know how the movie wants you to think of what. Well, yeah, ninety nine percent of the people already know he went back to that house. You know what I mean? And started his new life there. You know what I mean? So. I reference this movie because when you go to prison, you're a castaway. You're a castaway. And uh, when you come home, it's like they had your funeral. It's like your whole life is, it's like if you did more than 10 years, your whole life has been altered. And you're going to have to really get in where you fit in to make some shit happen for yourself. Now, man, you listen, I, in my past life, I've done a lot. I've dated a lot. I've, 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 I've been around beautiful women my whole life. I've been around beautiful women my whole life. I've traveled, you know what I mean? I was getting a little money in the street. I, I did my thing, right? Now I'm working a job, right? I'm working a job, and I, I did the math the other day. I'm probably going to make about 68000 this year. That's not enough for me to be dating anyone. That's not enough for me to be a family man. I can barely take care of myself with that, with the rent and my insurance and all these other things, you know, that all these other things that I have to do to, to survive. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out y'all way. I'm not the kind of man that I need to be for nobody. So I'm going to get out your way. But let me say this too. Let me say this. I'm not attracted to the, the woman today. The, eye, the big eyelashes, all the makeup, the baby hair, the BBLs, the overall mentality, the masculine mentality that these women have. The women that got it going on feel like they don't need a man. And the women who ain't got nothing going on think a man's supposed to uh, do everything in the world for him to even talk to him. You know what I mean? So, I, Kenneth Calvert Stover Jr., have vowed, right, to live a life of celibacy, to live a life in celibacy, to pursue spiritual and financial gains. So what makes a man successful? And I will never be the kind of happy man without money. Uh, my mother had two surgeries. Happy birthday, mom. Today, my mother's birthday, July 11, 7-Eleven. Uh, Miss Brenda Stover, happy birthday. Two weeks ago, my mom had two surgeries and she, I could have lost her. And I could have lost my mother not being the man that I want to be in life. And it bothered me. So I'm going to live my life with an incarcerated mentality until I can get where I need to be. I set a quota for myself. And I know it's, it's more about my spirit and, and you know, uh, exercise, proper diet, uh, prayer, meditation, fasting, right? And that's what the question I'm on right now. But I set a personal quota of a half a million dollars. And two, I can come on this channel, and then y'all go to my Instagram too, lucky guy underscore tall guy. Y'all go on my Instagram, I have my vow on there as well. And two, I can show y'all a half a million dollars. I won't, I won't touch a woman. I won't touch a woman. I will go on a date if you ask me out. I'm not pursuing. I'm not. I'm getting where I need to be. So I think it's best for anybody, man, who coming out here in this new world. You you still got to live your life as an incarcerated in an in a incarcerated mentality. You know what I mean? These women, all these women out here, they on some kind of antidepressant. They on Prozac. All these other different little drugs for the for their bipolar and they and they depression and all of this. Like this, it's just a lot going on. Y'all remember this? Y'all remember this? This is the kind of women that's out here in this world right now. 
and I'm not bringing in all them negative energies and them energies you take in by 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 uh, physical or sexual contact. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. You know what I mean? So I, Kenneth Calvert Stover, have vowed sexual abstinence to live in a in a life of celibacy to pursue my uh, spiritual and financial gains. You know what I mean? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. This is real. I'm done. I'm done. So for me to be the kind of man that I want to be in this world, you know what I mean? I'm working a job that I do, know, I do not want to work. So I need to just focus, man. You know, I need to just focus. I went on a date, right? We spent 275 at dinner. We went to the bar upstairs and I spent another 125, right? We went to the dispensary across the street because she wanted to get a couple of pre-rolls. I spent another 40, right? I was tapped right there. Like for real, that, I didn't, even if I had the money, I, I don't want to go as a working man. I don't want to do $800 dates. This woman was, was trying to get me to, us to go to the massage parlor and get massages. I'm like, listen, I just had to just tell her. I ain't got it like that to be driving 800 on dates. And all the things in me to tell her, I, I just had to tell her, but that ain't even me, bro. You know what I mean? To, to, just to be able, not to just to raise a family, I can't afford, it's cheaper to raise a family than, than dating to take these chicks out. You know what I mean? Cheesecake factories is, they, you know, they making a mockery of Cheesecake Factory right now. You know what I mean? I'm getting out their way. I'm a, look, I, you got that. I'm out of y'all way. I don't want nothing to do with this. I don't want to do with this. You know what I mean? I ain't where I want to be. I'm working a job I don't want to be working. And I'm doing things and, and, and bowing down to rules and stuff that I don't want to abide to. So I, this man right here, I'm out of y'all way. I'm out of y'all way. When I get a half a ticket in my bank, I'm gonna share it with y'all, and that's when I'm gonna start back, back, back out of here in these streets again and trying to figure out who my soulmate gonna be. But until then, I'm out of y'all way. This is from Indicted to Invited. Peace, y'all.